Hello again, this is Denon with DenonTechHelp.com I'm coming to you with another video um, about uh, tech software. Um, now, the um, software that I'm going to be going over are um, software for remote access. Now, uh, there are many situations where you'll need um, your computer when you're in a remote location. Um, say if you're um, out of town on business um, or if you're at school and your computer's at home, um, there are situations where being able to access your computer um, from a remote location is a lifesaver. Um, so this video is going to tell you um, about some software that you can use um, to access your computer um, from um, a remote location. Uh, the first one that I'm going to go over is go to my PC. Now, um, go to my PC um, is uh, a very simple program to use, um, and it's uh, very stable uh, of, for providing a remote access. Uh, what you'd have to do is you'd have to set up an account. Um, now, this is a paid account. Um, now, you can go to the Go to My PC website and see how much these um, these packages cost. But they do have a free trial that you can check it out and see how it works for you. Um, but um, they have a tiered account where you can um, set it up where you have one computer access and on and on um, up to, I believe, ten. So, so yeah, once you've set up the sign-up, um, then uh, the computer will be accessible from um, the GoToMyPC website um, from any computer outside, um, outside your house. Um, so you'd go up to the GoToMyPC website from a remote location. Um, you'd log in, and you'd be able to access your computer and everything that is on your computer from that remote location. You would just need to have the internet uh, to be able to do so. So um, this is a very good program. I've been I've used it a lot um, for uh, my job, so that I know that it's stable. It's um, from the ones that I've used. Um, it is the most stable. It's the fastest um, that I've used. Um, so. It, uh, it's, it's something that is uh, something that you can hang your hat on as something as a good software um, that you can use um, that has a good history. So, um, but the only drawback is that there is no free offering. Um, it is a paid subscription. Uh, the second one that I want to go over is Log Me In. Now, Log Me In is just like Go to My PC in the sense where you set up an account and when you set up an account um, you actually um, you know you have just as you see here um, an option to access a computer um, that um, you can log in from um, the browser and um, you'd be able to see the computer just as you would if you were sitting in front of it um, the difference between log me in and go to my PC is that Log Me In actually has a free offering where you can actually use its service um, without actually paying for the subscription. Um, and the free uh, service is um, not as, um, doesn't have all the bells and whistles as the paid subscription, but it has a lot of things. Um, that you need. I mean, pretty much everything I've needed um, has been um, in this subscription, so I haven't had to upgrade to the paid subscription. So this is what I actually use for my personal use. Go to my PC I use um, for my current job um, as a technical analyst um, where I access servers and what have you. Um, so it's very good for that. You know, my, my company actually, the, the uh, company that I do my day job with, <laughs> they actually pay for it, so I don't worry about that. But this is the actual one that I use for my personal use, um, and um, also my personal business use. Now, um, there's also another um, another software package or another use 
that remote uh, these remote pr um, access programs um, use, um, and it's for meetings. Now, um, both go to my PC and log me in have um, a meeting software. Now, this meeting software is for when you want to um, set up a meeting and you want to um, have your colleagues um, look at your computer from a remote location. Um, so you can um, show them spreadsheets, show them um, a PowerPoint presentation, um, and it's a very seamless process, and it is um, it's, it's very powerful. So you, instead of going out to, um, to New York, if you live in Chicago, um, you can have this meeting um, from anywhere in the world, and they'd be able to see your computer and um, and you know you work it that way um, now these are both both of them are um, paid options that you actually have to pay for to be able to get this access um, there is another one that is free for the moment as it is in beta um, Zoho meeting uh, Zoho meeting um, has an option where um, you can set up the your presentations using the Zoho presentation tool um, and you can um, set up a meeting and have people um, see this meeting on your computer from remote locations. Um, and also they can see your computer from remote locations um, and pretty much everything uh, these paid subscriptions can do, it can do also. Um, the one problem I've seen with the Zoho meeting um, and I don't know if it was just as my, my experience is that it's um, s um, slow at spots, um, but uh, but you know it is free. So um, you know, go ahead and check it out. It's Zoho Meeting, and um, for your business meetings, um, it is something that you can use with your presentations that you use with um, with Zoho. If you have some Zoho presentations, you can um, write from the Zoho presentation. You can set up a meeting. Um, so go ahead and check those out. The three softwares are Go to My PC, Log Me In, and Zoho Meeting. Check out the descriptions for links for each one of these. And also go ahead and make sure you subscribe um, to my page. Um, and also check out my website at www dontechhelp.com also there is a blog that I keep up that um, will give you a lot of information about um, all of this type of stuff for small businesses um, for consumers all type of things so um, stay up with me and I'll talk to you later